Hey friends, I want to recap what happened in chapters four and five, or five and six of And Then There Were None. At the end of chapter four, Anthony Marston was very excited to start working on this whole mystery and who is you and Owen and how are all these things connected and who actually invited the, to the island and why are they there? And as he's getting excited about this mystery, he takes a drink and chokes and slides to the floor and drops his glass. At the beginning of chapter five, um, we learn that Anthony Marston has died. Dr. Armstrong rules that it was probably su or that it was probably cyanide that killed him. Some people are still speculating whether or not it was suicide, whether he intended to kill himself. But the general consensus with most of the people on the island is that he was a really happy guy. He was in great shape. He didn't even seem remorseful about the fact that he had killed two people. So he was the least likely suspect to commit suicide. Continuing on with the story, many of the characters have bad dreams or they're really reflecting on the murders or deaths that they caused. For example, Vera Claythorne is all torn up. She's thinking about Hugo. We learn who that Hugo is uh, Cyril's older cousin. Cyril is the kid that drowned while she was watching him. And we also learn that Hugo would have been very wealthy had it not been for the birth of Cecil, or Cyril, and that he would have, um, if Cyril had been a girl, um, he would also have been very rich. Or if Cyril died, he would also be very rich and, and inherit the family fortune. Um, and the only reason that Vera did not marry Hugo is that he was far too poor to marry. So if he'd had that money, they would have been able to get married. But Hugo died, and she feels very bad about that. Um, we also have... Um, General MacArthur, and he also feels really bad about what he did. Remember, he sent his wife's lover to death. Um, he was a general in the army in World War I, and he found out that his wife was cheating on him because she, whoopsie-daisy, accidentally wrote, well, on purpose, she wrote a letter. She wrote one to her husband, and she wrote one to her lover, and she put them in the wrong envelope. So no. So what MacArthur did um, to rectify the situation was he had his wife's lover sent to the front line in a situation that he knew would end up getting him killed. And he did. Um, Emily Brent still doesn't seem to show any remorse for what she did. In fact, she thinks that these people have died because of their own conscience. In chapter six, um, Thomas Rogers wakes up Anthony, um, I'm sorry, Armstrong, the doctor, and he's like, hey, I just tried waking my wife up, and she's not waking up. So the doctor, um, Armstrong, he went into her room, and she is dead. Um, or perhaps she overslept herself. That's what the poem says. And they determine that she died of potentially um, like an overdose of sleeping pills. But remember, the doctor, um, in the previous chapters, after she fainted, they gave her alcohol, and then he took her upstairs and gave her a sedative before she went to bed. So a lot of people are really suspicious that it might be the doctor that killed her, and maybe he did it intentionally. Um, some people also suspect Rogers, her husband, and they think that you know he's trying to cover up a murder. He's trying to cover up what he did um, to Jennifer Brady, which is the old lady that they had killed or caused the death of. Um, and they say that he killed his wife so that they, because she was too fragile and she would tell the story of how, um, they had killed her. So at the end of this chapter, characters start to realize that the China figurines of the little soldiers that are all, um, that were all in the dining room, that they're starting to disappear. In fact, two of them have disappeared. After Anthony Marson died, one had disappeared. And this is all Thomas Rogers notices this. After Ethel died, there were two that were gone. And so at the end of this chapter, um, the guys decide that, um, you know, <laughs> we better find out who the murderer is because clearly what is happening on this island corresponds with the deaths that occur in the poem. So in this chapter, they're going to search the island for any other potential people on it. And we'll see how that goes.